What's up everybody, my name is Brian. I just want to start off by saying good morning to my fellow YouTubers. So, what we're going to be doing today is, uh, I, I'm off of work. I'm bored. I just got my son, he's up there sleeping right now. So he's sleeping, it's, uh, it's about lunchtime for me right now. You know that I've been locked up. You probably know that I'm pretty good at making some spreads. There's going to be a little bit things that are different in what I'm about to make then we get in there but for the most part you're gonna get the idea and you're gonna see how we live and you're living off of soups and that's all you have so I'm gonna show you how to get creative some of you might think that's a little weird it's gonna look a little nasty but I'm gonna tell you right now I promise you right now it's gonna be good so just stay tuned and go check it out let's get cooking cuz I'm hungry um, being in prison will you only get like bologna sandwiches for lunch and then we do get peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but that's only like once a week, twice a week maybe. But most of the time it's bologna sandwiches and you get like one bologna for two pieces of bread and a package of mustard. So it's not a lot. So what we do to trick it out is we kind of use a bunch of different ingredients that we're able to buy from the store. And we actually call those manwiches. I don't know why or where that term came from. All I know is it's a big sandwich. It fills you up and... I mean, that's, that's all we got, so we stick to it. But this time, I'm not going to really focus on making a manwich. I'm going to make a hamburger, but in a style of a manwich. So maybe we could just call it a man burger. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's check it out. I'm going to show you step by step on how I do this. Don't judge me. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a beef soup and you're gonna break it in half. So what I mean by breaking it in half is like, pretty much, you don't wanna destroy the package, okay? You wanna make sure this is, I'll show you why in a minute, but try not to destroy this, which I just did right now. But uh, try to open it up as clean as you can. I'm a little rusty, <laughs> I guess it's been a couple of years. So, you can see it's gonna be two pieces. You're gonna try to pop it open. You're gonna take one half, okay? We're just gonna put this right back into the bag. And we're gonna put it off to the side for a little bit and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. The next step you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little bit of water in this and then you're gonna pop that in the microwave and heat it up. Okay, so now the meat is almost done. My water is heating up. So now we're gonna start the toaster. And there you go. Now let me show you what we're gonna do with the hot water. So we got our hot water now. Remember the soup in the package. The reason why you can't really destroy the package is because we're gonna pour the hot water inside of here. Now, I put it in a Tupperware, just let it sit there. So you're gonna pour the hot water in there like that and you're just gonna let it sit for maybe like 30 seconds. Okay, so now that I've waited about that 30 seconds, I'm gonna take it, dump it out. I'm making a mess. Try to be careful not to burn yourself. So I made it a little bit too soft, but it's gonna be okay because, you know, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. So the bread just dinged right now. Here it goes. I'm just gonna show you the basic steps of making a man burger. Talk a little bit while I'm making this. First, I use sriracha ketchup. I love sriracha, I love ketchup, so why not do both? So you guys are probably wondering why or how I could be doing this stuff while I'm in prison but the cool thing about in there is we do get some supplies and we do have to tamper with those supplies a little bit we're not supposed to but we do get these hot pots that uh, have a metal hot plate in it that's for us to like make hot coffee you know to heat up our water to make tea to make our soups whatever you know so we'll take it apart and take that hot plate out 
and we're gonna take it like a plug maybe to like an old fan we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna connect the wires and then once you plug that sucker into the wall that thing gets hot and you could grill toast on there you could grill your bologna on there you could do a lot of things with a hot plate you can make like a like a little mini pan out of a soda can that you know you obviously have to steal from the CEOs but yeah this is all kinds of things that you could just do in there and um, so that's how we grill and cook things in there so next step now is to make some grilled onions if you know somebody and you're close to them and they work in the kitchen well hey there's your in for a lot of good things that you could be putting in your food or whatever so I like onions, I like bell peppers, and vegetables and stuff like that. So if I'm in need of that, I would just, you know, give him some soups, buy him some chips, whatever he really wants from the store, and that's how we're going to pay him. And he's going to bring me my stuff, and this is what I'm going to be doing in my cell pretty much every day. So I got my sriracha ketchup, and I'm going to take this soup that I cooked earlier. See, it's not like falling apart, but it's cooked enough to be soft. I'm going to place that sucker right there. And of course mayonnaise for some reason people in prison use mayonnaise on everything every spread you could think of has mayonnaise in it i don't know why i do it because i like it but who doesn't like mayonnaise in their hamburgers you know i'm gonna take your little beef packet just don't do the whole thing because it'll be very salty you know just sprinkle it around like you're seasoning it because the soups are kind of bland without it. That should be good. So we got our grilled onions now. So what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle it on the top here. I love grilled onions. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you like grilled onions in your food. Next is uh, another thing that I like putting in my food is um, an egg, a fried egg. So we're gonna go get that fried egg, fry it up and put it in our man burger. So now we got our egg ready. I'm gonna plop that on there. Bam! Shout out to whoever bought these, cause jalapenos make everything good. I need to start going to the gym. I could barely open that jar. Put that in here. Yes, we can get jalapenos in there in our packages. We could get bell pepper. Oh no no no. We could get um banana peppers. Get a lot of the This is gonna be my man burger. Balling on a budget, poor man's lunch, a man burger, whatever you wanna call it, but it's gonna be good, it's easy, and it's cheap, and this will give you a little taste of what I had to live eating every day for the last six years years. So that's pretty much it with this one. It's pretty simple, didn't take me that long. Um, it's super good. Uh, I guess, I guess I will recommend trying it. You know, at least try it, you know. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But at least try it, you know. Try everything at least one time. There's going to be a day where you're going to regret and be like, man, I wish I would have tried that. Even though a burger's not a big deal, but I'm just saying I went through plenty of those. Man, I wish I would have done that. I you know, so just give it your all. I should have done this first, but um, I guess it's better late than never. But I want to thank God for giving me another life out here, starting over, um, being part of my daughter's life, having a wonderful son, being a part of his life, being able to be out here with my family. And I want to give a shout out to all my family that's been out there supporting me, helping me get through all of this, you know, and, and they've been there from the beginning to the end. I've met really good people um, while I was in there that I still keep in contact with out here. And I am planning on making a vlog with all of them. I'll meet up together and uh, 
That way you can meet some of my cellies and some of the people that I've had to live with. Man, I'm telling you, they've been a lot of motivation, giving me positive thoughts, you know. You know, So it wasn't always like, yeah, go kill this guy, go stab that dude, we're going to riot this, riot that. Nah, there's a lot of good people in there with good hearts. And I just want to thank God that he blessed me by putting me around people who are positive in my life. And instead of push holding me back, they're pushing me forward, you know. So praise God. Amen. God bless you guys. I'm going to finish eating this. But if you guys are interested in more things that we used to do in prison, spreads or maybe um, little things that we used to make in there, you know, kind of stuff, just uh, leave a comment letting me know. And if I get enough comments on the subject, then I definitely will make a video about it. And Shout out to Daniel Pasquale Vlogs. It's my cousin, my big cousin. I love you, bro. Um, he has his uh, traffic tales, his kitchen tales. I'm going to have my prison tales. And this is what it's going to be like. So you guys could know firsthand what and how I had to live behind bars. <laughs> All right, folks, so I finished my hamburger. So before I go, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, and let me know if you like the video and if you want any more future videos about behind bars. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, my name is Brian, and come back. <laughs>